Welcome back, guys. We going to be reviewing over Kentucky and No State. Thank God we won. Shit. Had to make up my day after yesterday after Kentucky and Clemson lost. I was pissed, but I'm glad Kentucky basketball came out with a win. Made my day pretty much better. But no talking. Let's get into it. Which I have done watch this game, but I'm just going to get my review on it. Basketball. The offense, Damian, as you have outlined wonderfully there, thriving. They have flourished to start. Here we go, Kentucky in those home whites. Illinois State again visiting from normal Illinois. It's not far from Chicago in the Reds. And they start by Edwards. This time he beats him off the dribble. Missed the layup and secures his own miss. Darius Burford left it short. They have to be the more physical team to continue to be in this basketball game for 40 minutes of play. It's their toughest test of the year by far, and there is. Big five, it's the aforementioned Burford, so number 10 in the white. Edwards poked that one away, beneficiary of a beneficiary of the lead feed. Do when you think about Kentucky, though, uh, the job yeah, that they do. Good game, Kendall. Really Thank you. The SEC with 9.2 steals per game. That's a nice cut. So the senior from a lot of seniors. Senior from <laughs> there's 10 on the roster. So Ryan Peden has a very veteran group. Edwards knocks better. Wagner can shoot it better. Edwards can shoot it better. They just got to continue to get more chemistry and work together. Foster, again, from the center of the floor. You mentioned that the ceiling is high. It's it's very high. They already average about 90, 91 points per game. Wagner to the cup on fish. And they have been playing, to your point, at a torrid pace this year. Banks into the paint, jump stop, back out to Foster, and he buries a mismatch inside. Lewis is trying to post up Wagner. They can't get it to him. It's that long reach, Bradshaw and Mitchell. Blocked the entry pass. Banks had the job by Illinois State getting the looks that they want. This is the end where Kentucky has to pick it up. It's on the defensive end. Point Dexter couldn't hit the in Illinois State. And that's what they're going to have to continue to work on, especially on the defensive end. They've got eight seniors after spending five years on Chris Holtman's staff at Ohio State. Great recruiter. He's got strong ties to Ohio and the Midwest. So he is building his career built upon the work in a winning mentality, winning above all else. Dillingham drive and kick, short corner jumper. For Coach Cal, who's one of the best to ever do it in college basketball, is trying to show these guys. Uh, and you're right, 11-12 games through. They have been able to outscore teams, selecting over the last few years. He led the MVC in scoring fish a couple years ago, then hits the portal. And boy, he has really evolved into one of the leagues. Dillingham off the screen, cut off nicely that time by Kasuki. Gets by him, and then fouled ball screen that time they hard hedge and end up switching it so they're playing it differently now more on how illinois state is going to have to play reed shepherd aimed like a professional athlete already banks off balance 15 footer there's the seven footer lead came down with the offensive board on yenso uk's out rebounding its opponents by 5.3 a game and averaging 6.5 blocks they're a different team now yeah ken Ziger. Foster, bumping it on Yenso, puts it up, somehow is able to, you know, two years of junior varsity basketball that I remember from <laughs> way back in the day here. Here's Shepard, even just a sliver of space that he can beat you. Bradshaw, on the have the awareness and the athleticism to get back to your man, especially if it's a quality shooter like Shepard. That's no? exactly right. Again, Kentucky as a team shooting 41% from beyond the arc. Bradshaw tried to point lead. Then watch Kentucky go on a 9-0 run. So the Wildcats are up five. Foster, very Strong. aggressive underneath. He's going back to the free throw. Certainly has the weight advantage. Good pass. Dillingham out to Shepard. It was Kinziger who closed him out. There's a foul before the shot. It was Lewis who let it go. Dillingham, number zero in the white. Oh, nice. Always a blur. How about Wagner, a little crossover special. They scored it. That was a nice ass damn move. I ain't gonna lie. Let me see. 80 against Memphis last month, or I guess I should say a few weeks ago. High scoring Rebels team this year. Shepard 
just an effortless their angles, which is what they're trying to do with screening, whether it's ball screens or like this triple screen mm. to come across and roll to the basket. Oh, shit. Like father, like son. Four to shoot. Reeves now has to improvise. The three, that's off. Four. They have played in some lower possession games. They only average about 68, 69 points per game. Off balance runner. That's nice. Jordan by the Wizards a couple years ago. Yep, dad played for the Milwaukee Bucks as well. Shepard misfires from deep. Something that I think they should be much better at with all their length and athleticism. Mitchell, the vet, into the paint. Now it's Reeves. Knives through. Got it. And yep. Wagner, Edwards, and Bradshaw in the starting lineup. Shepard, Dillingham coming off the bench. Yep. But just those presences of Mitchell and Reeves, to your point, both are critical. A couple of buckets here for Illinois State. They're trying to hang in this one. Well, Burford can put up points in a hurry. Reeves, splash. The fish, he's 5 of 7 to start from the floor. And he's just been locked in. Burford. Plants his feet, goes up, bulked up, added some muscle in the offseason. And he's led the way, averaging about 14 a game. So when you're looking at that scouting report, you've got to prepare for everyone. Six to shoot. Davis wants another. And that three. And Kentucky resets. Mitchell's asking for the basketball on the block. He's got Poindexter on him. Kicks out to an open Edwards. No. There's a seven-footer leave. Started at Illinois. Finds point, Dexter. That's good. good. Movement away from... So much of this basketball game is played when you do not have the basketball in your hand. Learn to move without the basketball. Wagner, that quick burst. Dillingham down at the board. They are a blur in transition. Wagner sets and fires. And connects. Coach Cal would not like that. Rob Dillingham did not get on the floor. Illinois State did. Whoop! On Yenso running. Had to endure a foot surgery earlier this year. Missed the first eight games of the year. Burford on the revert. Backs down leave. It's close range for a moment. Shepard bails him out to the corner. Dillingham. Yes. There you go. Kentucky, 59% from the floor in this first half. Eight seconds to go. Burford wide open. Mm. Left it short. Leave the follow. And a whistle. Yeah, we, we talked about their ability to win a national championship. Part of that ability will be displayed by the maturity or lack of maturity that we... And they've got a couple of encouraging wins. Fish, including two in conference play. They've already started MVC play 2-0. Wins against Murray State and UIC. He goes back to work on this end where they shot 59% from the floor in the first half. Edwards, an assertive... A he put Darius Burford in a closeout position, which enhances Edwards' game and ability to get to the rim. Poindexter, same spot. Office play right around the corner, and that's exactly how he should be acting. Again, he's averaging about 18 a game. Banks, that time, beats his man off the dribble. They were intense. They rebounded the basketball. Uh, they have to play with that same consistency. And I love the fact that Illinois State stopped back and say in West Virginia. Fifth and final year of college hoops in Kentucky. Poindexter, aggressive baseline drive. Off Kansas at home, and we talked about Ole Miss earlier over Memphis and Arkansas. What a big one at home versus Duke, and then the Aggies over Ohio State. And he is the nation's best three point shooter. It's not like he's only taken one or two threes a game, leading three point shooters, minimum four attempts per game. Why four? That's an adequate amount. Also, Shepard takes four a game, so that helps. Put back here for. And after the double-double against Louisville last week, named the SEC Rookie of the Week. Sure. Lewis got a had it taken away. I mean, Shepard is everywhere right now. The block, the steal, might as well take it. Instead, maybe he's getting an assist here. Yep. Woo! Illinois State trying to hang tough here. Kentucky on the move again. Dillingham underneath. Burks got one man flying. Scores in by quality depth. They've yeah. got guys that do different things, but they all are impactful and assets for this Wildcat team. Mitchell 
you know, he's good looks, just hadn't been able to knock down shots. And when you can't do that, that's when you have to do like Ryan Peaton said and try to get to the rim. Banks connects. All the banks <laughs> you know, in the second half, they've hit three triples. But Kentucky just is relentless. Pass break point advantage over Illinois State. And this is a Redbirds team that is going to be competitive in the MVC this year. About Belmont in the league now, you've got Drake, who was dominant last year, made a quality run. Uh, it's a league where this game right here, the AA tournament. Burford into double figures now for a seventh straight game. Illinois State in normal Illinois. No place like playing in this place, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I, I very seldom... You know, I just got to say something to the crowd. Well, why y'all sitting down, man? Y'all should be celebrating on y'all's feet, cheering for this team, and y'all just sitting down like it's a fucking golf tournament, man. Trust me, if I was there, I'd be jumping up and down like I'm on some drugs or some shit. Y'all need to get y'all shit together. In this place, but look at this crowd. Yep. You know, this is this is what Kentucky basketball is all about. They've been ranked, and you know, when you look at this Kentucky Wildcat team, obviously they're up 20 plus points today, but. What do you think is going to be about the significance of what they're involved in? Yeah. Just keep the mentality of just playing freely and continue to get better defensively from sure. like that. It's tough, but I love the cohesiveness and the, and, the, and the personnel of this basketball team, and I think they got a chance to go real far and be very, very What does he yeah. want to do going forward? Well, Shaw was just, just taking a breath, you know yeah. what I mean? Just breathing a little bit, uh, analyzing, you know, what's his next move. I could go years ago, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> they barely remember Jamal Masbury, you know, Richie Foreman, John Pelfrey, Darren Fellhouse, and those guys were household names back then. Yep. But it's a kid. Good good morals, you know what I'm saying? Because I look at transfers not as quarters, but not staying the course. Used to be used to being disciplined, yeah. Being having a, a winner's mentality, being selfless. All these guys are looking for the next fix to, to, to try to figure out how they can get off, turn around, jump hook. That's exactly what Coach Ryan Peden said that he looks for winners and culture type guys. You gotta have it to win basketball games, especially for two. But that team is what wins you games. Sure. And the teams that come together the most at the right time as the teams that win and I think the beauty of themselves every single day and that's good for coaching you know Cal ain't got to motivate because they know that hey this other guy can play just as good as I can and I've been for three four years right you know what I mean it's tougher now to mold a team of new guys especially young guys who just in the prom in May <laughs> from a recruiting standpoint of getting the right mix and a big part of that is Reed Shepard I think yeah well, you talked about recruiting. So I think it goes without saying, Damien, you said it right off the top that. So there's a lot that will unfold. Yeah, I can't so wait. So far, good signs, yeah. Burks, maybe a little more colorful language. <laughs> I was never good at trash talk. <laughs> Billy Am up ahead to Reeves. Let's go into the line for Hall of Fame ballot. About time. I think he's a no-brainer, and, and he's always been a Hall of Famer. He continues to prove that. It's a deep post post that time by Fought to defend for 40 minutes, and Coach Ryan Peden will love the way that his team attacked the glass. They just haven't made enough shots throughout the night. Yeah, they saw the glass. They actually 20. They have a 21 to six offensive rebound advantage. Now, it's hard to get offensive rebounds. And he is just a bona fide scorer and shooter. This pass. Whew. On Yenso. Sends it back. Dillingham. Burks. Throw down. A couple minutes away from improving to 10 and 2. Yeah. Really? Sound basketball throughout the entire go with that in 33 minutes. Pretty efficient as well. Illinois State has four scores in double figures. Wagner to the bucket for non-conference game. We got the extra week this year. Uh -oh. So we play Gonzaga in February. Here comes Dillingham. Throwdown. It's a game in essence. Can I be honest? After the windmill and the mobile game. Woo! Look out. Aces. Less than a minute to go now. Kentucky's got 94. That one is down for a point. Kentucky scored 100. See, like, if you notice, you see some of them clapping. I'm sorry. If that was my team, I wouldn't be clapping. I'd be like, okay, it don't matter, man. We got our ass kicked. 
there's like 52 seconds left. It's 94 to 68. What are we clapping about? Just because you scored? Like, we got our ass kicked. There's no point in clapping, but whatever. You do what you want to do. 18 earlier this year against Marshall. Billingham back into the paint, tapped in on it, so that's Bjorn. Kentucky. Well, I'm glad they won. Shit. Not ready for the next game, hopefully, since it's the start of the SEC, but hope we can bring out something and show who the fuck Kentucky is, because they the shit. And, like, hopefully we beat Florida's ass, because I can't stand Florida, man. Especially all this fucking shit is fucking stupid. So I hope we kick them Gators' ass. But I'll see you on the next video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm out.